Hi there, collectives. It's Kim here to do a reading for you guys. This reading is kind of like a special. Um, it's a collective reading to start, you know, for my next 48 hour. But what I wanted to do is kind of give some information on the full moon that's coming up, which is on my birthday. So I'm really excited about that too. But it's also my birthday is on um, one of the eight Wiccan Sabbaths. Um, so it's a pagan holiday too called Llamas. And that would be on August 1st coming up. This energy is so strong. You can probably feel it. I would say even right now, definitely coming in. Um, this Llamas day, it was, uh, an Irish, um, it was based after an Irish God and, I, I have no idea why, but somehow the tie actually is Christianity, and then it it branches where this day was also opened up so that every uh, other entities could be, like, appreciated. So it's also um, one of the fire festivals that they have um, on, this, on this special, special day, and it's a day um, where we recognize um, the big harvest. So... That's what it's really, it's all about. And I'm excited then because this energy I feel like is so abundant. Um, it's really going to have us focused on um, our prosperity and things like that. So I'm hoping that it brings in some really good energy for that. So yeah. So also if your birthday is around that time or on that time, yay. Happy birthday too. And this is exactly what Lamas is about. <laughs> it's about having festival, having um, thanks, and having, uh, yeah, getting together, sharing recipes, um, having a festival, fire festival. Um, what else could they do? Cooking, um, dancing, making it. There's a special bread that you can make um, too. It's, it's basically... Um, like a multi-grain bread you, you you pretty much you just make as as um healthy of the bread as you can and then that could be your llamas celebration <laughs> bread so um yeah so i have the turkey spirit which is great give with gratitude and grace um so giving to others is being pointed out too as well as celebrating um having a feast maybe 58 stag spirit take the lead take the lead 58 stag spirit take the lead 56 spider spirit make your dreams real i feel like you're going to be or everyone is going to have this great potential to manifest um based on this like high vibe especially with the letter i mean the number eight just period you know for prosperity it's going to be um it's going to be good 56 spider spirit make your dreams real make your dreams real Ooh, how nice 37 lion spirit be generous of spirit another message about kind of reaching out and helping others too during this time Somebody could be acting like a turkey if they've had too much fun at a festival, maybe. <laughs> too much. Okay, then I have 31 Groundhog Spirit. Time to let go. And you know, with that coming out underneath that turkey spirit, it's, it's, rem it's reminding me of, um, you know, really appreciating the fact that we're always abundant. There is really no need to fear for lack or anything like that um and and that's how it's kind of like releasing that that um mentality so the the idea of celebrating abundance would be to give also um abundantly and what else what else ah and then butterfly spirit transformation is beautiful love the butterfly major metamorphosis people really changing um maybe a rebirth we have bat spirit on the bottom five uh rebirth is assured 
Transformation is beautiful. It sure is. 11. Transformation is beautiful. Butterfly spirit. I love that. Okay. I love that. So what we're going to do is just get some more cards to see what else wants to come out here. Maybe Tarot wants to add something to these um, animal spirits. So I'm wondering what the hiccup is with the stag spirit because of it coming out the way that it came out. Um, oh, people um, that are apart right now that really need to be together. I feel like there may be a taking time uh, to, to realize who is um, wanting to feel like belonging, like so reunion. It might be maybe like take the lead on and focus on a reunion um, or inclusion. Um, and, and your networking, um, your family connection and your soul family connection. Wow. Okay. Three of wands, the moon and the tower as, as when it's first hit. <laughs> so basically like this is saying something's going to be lit up. I feel like it has to do about being inclusive something being revealed um there's a journey to take and it all begins here with this vision with the three of wands it all begins with the journey so what is being let's get another card to find out what is being highlighted or lit up for the collective with um a tower like that you know, sometimes this is coming in as like major information too, you know. And I mean, if you look at this, we really don't know exactly what happened. I always look at this, this card and I think, you know, what if it has a lightning um, rod at the top? Then, then it might be okay. <laughs> so there may be something that's just really um, revealed and is surprising. So tell me a little bit more about... What is being revealed? Two cards that represent what is being revealed. Whew. Struggles. Hardship is being revealed and how people can help. It's time to let go of the lack consciousness. It's time to give from the heart with no strings attached. Um, it's time to also put worries down, especially material realm like worries it is a big that's going to be a really big thing um it's interesting because it's going to be in Le that's in leo season and um so the five of pentacles sometimes is about feeling like we don't have enough and, and exactly what i was talking about with the groundhog hawk spirit is that part of abundance is keeping that um system of giving and taking so there's something something here about that tell us more tell us more um as a collective as how we can help that past problem transformation is beautiful it's transforming something from the past any kind of limitation or lack from the past no oh. something else with that it looks like the two of swords in the reverse two of wands in the reverse two twos both in the reverse that has to do with long overdue decisions most of the time it's about you can, like that Fleetwood Mac song is coming in my head you can go your own way you can go your own way. But if you go your own way, know that there's something It feels like it was a long overdue decision kept being postponed. And so now it's it's come to the forefront of like, okay, a decision has to be made here. Um, there could be a chance that you have just uh, lost some kind of focus. And so they're pointing out that with the two of wands in the reverse is that there, there's going to be a need to really clear the mind and think about every step that you're taking or every climb, every hand movement, like everything is um, needs to be very deliberate. 
and it looks like it looks like that ace of wands is coming out right down here doesn't it all right so what does this mean for the collective you know is it a decision is it a what does this mean for the collective hmm well four of wands which is goals being met <laughs> the ten of wands in the reverse it's a little bit of like exhaustion doing the same things um, and postponing doing anything different it's gonna end up leading to that situation where something ends up having to be uh, almost like a complete different form it might be in in you know partnerships or relationships with the four of wands um, some people will be parting ways that will just be very um, obvious that some people are parting ways but I don't feel like it's necessarily related to a bunch of swords energies I feel like it's going to be more of a realization of where in your life prosperity is going to be um, best multiplied for you and and then getting out of doing so parting ways so that one there could be a reunion and two so that we're not doing um, something that's futile and not going in the direction of prosperity be generous of spirit that five of pentacles is coming out here because really if this is a time where you're supposed to celebrate all that you have and when some people are um struggling or lacking it is the bet one of the best times to come together and um raise the vibration and the mood by everybody helping one another so so there's a little bit about that too um time to let go for some people it's gonna be like time to let go of uh well exactly what i said like one thing doing one thing a certain way and you keep, just keep getting this exhausted and now you're just really tired <laughs> type of energy so the four of wands here is like it, it's time to uh let go of things that are really not going to ever uh, bring in something for you and then going towards major like i said transformation something that goes completely away and then comes back um transformed yeah it feels like there's old energies here the seven of swords in reverse the need to be released um you know maybe it's you know old conditioning or whatever it is it's like something like that to be released tell me more about the uh four of wands here you know what let's get a different deck tell me more about the four of wands for the collective and the moon is called the sturgeon moon so that the sturgeon is a really big fish and so that it was known that during that time you could catch like the bigger fish so that it, there's the yield would be higher prosperity would be things would be more abundant during this time um forgiveness so it's time to let go maybe of judgment of harsh judgment and it, it might be it it might be a little bit in the sense of for example if you were doing okay uh financially maybe you're even doing really good health wise and so when this energy when you're presented by seeing it on the outside it, if it's something that's hard to relate to um maybe there's something about letting go of judgment about people in these situations you know um trying to like trying to be kind and not pass too much judgment when it comes to um who who is helped or something who is helped and who is not um forgiveness it's time to let go of um old grudges and the things that just aren't working for you 
another message with the four of wands in reverse, which is like making really big moves coming out of a partnership, normally moving sometimes for some. So judgment is that, you know, it's first aid assist here from the sky, from the heavens. It's, um, it's enlightenment. It's the trumpet blaring, letting you know something. Some people really are moving because physically uh, moving with the six of swords in the, as a challenge is like, if it's, a hard situation is like maybe somebody needs even help just moving sometimes that's the struggle is like the place that a person's at and so therefore it might maybe something about that and about helping with transportation or helping with moving in general um this is the four the four of pentacles in reverse It's feeling like if, if the Six of Swords is here with it, that there was something with the foundation that um, was no longer like sustainable to hold something up anymore or something that was kind of coming down. And, and there could be an attachment to like saying, well, I have, I have a plan. Things are going to work out once it goes like this, this, and this. And because of those things, you're putting like conditions on how you want things to manifest. And so sometimes that can get us stuck in the rut of nothing ever changing and, and sometimes things getting worse. So this is about regaining, reclaiming power and regaining and spiritual and emotional wealth. It's, I'm getting the message to bank uh, more on these spiritual lessons um, and then and then the bank, the actual physical representation of um, of saving and having abundance enough to where we could be saving. Sometimes that's not always possible. So tell me more about this transformation in the Six of Cups. Some people are um, feeling this need or yearning to be connected with their soulmate energy and thus calling a person in. <sighs> Five of Wands. You could say healthy competition. Arguing. Tell me more about Five of Wands. Arguing. Situation that doesn't look hopeful, but then then there's that butterfly spirit so i don't like it, it doesn't really matter how not hopeful it looks like there's prosperity and there's something else coming in here and there's something being revealed about the energies of of let's come together and get along together um, and help people pull out of things challenges struggles to together right <clears throat> So, Spider Spirit, make your dreams real. Tell me about that. Maybe it's about people sharing more of their dreams with each other when they're at, you know, re regular routine things, like when, when, when you're at your job or something like that. Oh, wow, the Chariot, and it really flipped like that, guys. So, wow, and the Eight of Pentacles on the bottom. Whatever this is, this prosperity, abundance, work on it because it gets different, it gets better, it changes. The Chariot is, um, it is your road to success. Um, it's being hyper aware of where you're going and it's something that's going to start picking up speed. So you may want to make sure that you give gratitude and that you embrace yourself, that you're balanced. Um, the chariot could represent cancer energy. You could have Sagittarius with the judgment energy. Uh, let's see what else. Let's see what else wants to come in. Picking a different deck. This is Osho Zen Tarot uh, blended with the Kipper deck. And it, the Kipper deck gives some 
both of them give some interesting things. So tell me more, Spirit, about how to best get along and share opportunities or share this opportunity with others too. Releasing, um, so it, it's, so it, it feels like there's going to be a message of something that will relieve you from having to work as hard. So it's like work smarter, not harder is coming out and breaking the chains and finding your inner authority. Um, breaking the chains that bind and saying like, for example, I'm not going to let a chain, I'm not going to let this place that only pays me such and such stop my dream from happening pulling out of, of a hardship and figuring out how to do that. So I get unconventional, doing things very unconventional, a different way. Maybe your occupation, maybe some people will be changing occupations or just at, or really adding to it or to what you do. Have mature man five. Ooh. Lovers in reverse. Another indication that that, that there might be um, whoa, some some major changes. We have the thoughts card. Wow, what are your thoughts? Popped out. It's on the floor. <laughs> hmm. But it was right like that. So what are your thoughts? It's probably going to be a marriage, um, business, or romance. There's a six of swords again. Um, moving somewhere or somebody is going to move closer to you. Wealthy, wealthy man and that great fortune that's come out. That's beautiful. So something's going to come together. Um, it's. I feel like spider spirits should say making our dreams come true. Because that's what it feels like. It's something that's like making our dreams come true. What are your thoughts? There's something really important about your creative expression of how you're feeling at this time. Um, possibly needing to use... Uh, art or some kind of creative expression to free your mind, to open your mind with that two of wands in the reverse so that we can get back to that planning focus stage. Sometimes we have to clear the jumbled mess. <laughs> Sometimes I do. So drawing um, helps me or painting or exercise. We have child, 18, child, and a sweet little rabbit, seven of, oh, seven of wands, trying to do a whole lot, <laughs> trying to do a whole lot. Maybe there might be some kind of sign or synchronicity too that will point you in this direction. Um, Three of Pentacles laying the, down the groundwork and another, um, oh no, not Three of Pentacles. Sorry, Empress. Another sign though that you're going to be working with others, not just about yourself. Um, and it's something has been delayed. It did not come through like you thought, but don't give up because that energy of the Empress is there, especially if you're uh, wanting to add or something to do with a child, um, you know, to your family. So. That's what I've got, guys. Let's get some tea leaves, too, and some angel, or ask the angel cards. I know I'm kind of tired tonight, but I really did want to put something out here for what's coming up because it's so big. Because <clears throat> it's so big. Okay, so I have another older man one with that mature man. That's interesting. Five, older man, dealings or relationship with an older man. A fan, romance, celebration, or party. 
cracked cup dissatisfaction with life and it's coming out on transformation is beautiful i feel like it has something to do with occupation and what you do that um keeps you happy well or that that helps add to your happiness rat someone is working behind your back sunrise new creative ideas new ventures a fresh start and diamond you'll be receiving or giving a precious gift scissors disappointment in some affair and this is probably meaning that the end of something casket someone going out of your life or the end of a situation i feel like it's something that you'll know about anyway that be probably like self-initiated here and then crown honor and respect will come to you honor and respect will come to you make your dreams come true with the spider and that sunrise Wow, something's definitely being laid to rest because they're not late for real with the end of a situation. I have to sleep underneath the nighttime skies. Uh, fairy sing you lullabies. Friendship on the bottom of the deck. Uh, rain, rain comes today. Let all your troubles wash away. I have positive work outcomes. Consistent efforts will bring in rewards. And a major purchase is worth making. And I also have perseverance. You may feel like you're getting nowhere, but there are wonderful changes ahead. And I have don't give up. Oh, yeah, ask the angels. It's going to do that, too. I'm going to do ask the angels, too. All right. It is up to you, especially when it comes to this transformation. It is up to you. And look at that, a success, beautiful success. There's something better. So what are your thoughts? I feel like that has to do well with a lot of things. I'm not gonna specifically think something about that one because that one might have to do with family decisions too. And then a big yes, so. That is good. Archangel Raphael, give us a closing card, please, for a health message. Ask your body for a message. Dear body, please help me hear your messages. Um, Archangel Raphael, please guide me in honoring and respecting my body's needs. And on the bottom of the deck, I have alternative medicine. Dear Archangel Raphael, thank you for guiding me to the ideal healing treatment modality and for giving me clear signs and messages to validate the best path for my well-being. All right, that's what I've got for you guys. I hope you enjoyed this collective message and I hope your August 1st is going to be absolutely amazing. And this week going towards it, I'm sure the buildup will be wonderful and prosperous and abundant. So sending you much love and light. Bye-bye.